TFF Pharmaceuticals is working to solve a drug delivery challenge that is faced by about a third of the major pharmaceuticals companies worldwide, and that is of poor water solubility and absorption. Now, because of this, uh, many drugs don't adequately reach their target, and they're not helping the people as they should. So with me today, uh, the CEO of TFF Pharmaceuticals, uh, Glenn Madison, also Dr. Bill Williams, a professor at uh, University of Texas at Austin. And you're gonna explain how all this works and uh, what this means basically for healthcare in general. So um, first of all, congratulations on your IPO. Thank you, it's very exciting. Yeah, it's tell me about that. What was, what was the path like to get there? So actually our path was, was pretty quick. Um, the company launched about 18 months ago. We wow. did a Series A uh -huh. round that enabled the company to reach certain milestones in preclinical development. And then we started the uh, roadshow for the IPO right after Labor Day. And uh, we were very successful to get us to this moment. And the use of proceeds will allow us to develop uh, two products internally that we're bringing through. In fact, we're about to go into clinical trials with our first product, uh, Voriconazole, which is an antifungal that's used to treat aspergillus. And then we have a second product right behind that, Tacrolimus, which is an immunotherapeutic that's used after patients have large, torg large organ transplant okay. to prevent rejection of the organ. Okay, so and then we're in the middle of talking to a lot of different companies about business development. Okay. Right. So, Dr. Williams, so you created this, and TFF stands for Thin Film Freezing. Yes. And that is a, a technology you created. Yes. Okay. So it was me, and I represent uh, okay. many other uh, graduate students who are now working in the industry okay. and collaborators. So uh, I, was, I was telling you, I'm always humbled whenever I talk to biotechnology companies because I realize uh, there's so much of this that I don't know. So kind of explain in layman's terms what this technology does. Yes. So the problem is, as Glenn alluded to in, 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 in your opening uh, remarks, 90% uh, of the drugs about 90% of the drugs that are in, in uh, development in the pharmaceutical pipelines are poorly water soluble. So it's a great need. Mm -hmm. and, and subsequently, they are not absorbed in, into the body. Okay, so, we, so we're not getting, if I'm taking a medicine of some sort, I'm not getting the full impact of that correct. because of that water solubility problem. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and so we created this technology, and it's a very ultra rapid freezing, is really the proprietary part of it that creates a morphology of particles that are very easily administered then by dry powder inhalation to the lungs. Okay, so this solves a problem where would somebody maybe not need as much medicine or a lower dose, right. or how does it work for the... Yeah, so the real opportunity here is to ultimately give a lower dose and get at least the same results from an efficacy standpoint. So if we could at least get similar efficacy, perhaps better efficacy, right. uh, but certainly by administering a lower dose directly to the lung, we should improve on the adverse events profile. For example, with tacrolimus, uh, patients generally get renal impairment about three to five years after their organ transplant. Hopefully with a lower dose, they won't get that renal impairment as quickly mm -hmm. and they'll be able to live a longer, healthier life. So no, co no comorbidities, no co comorbid mortality. Okay, and early testing has shown promise in this area? Okay. We have animal models that, that are very supportive of, uh, of what we've seen. And remember, we're not working on new chemical entities. Um, Voriconazole and Tacrolimus are already marketed, so we have to prove in our clinical development only non-inferiority. We, we go by the 505B2 regulatory pathway. So it's a much more accelerated path to the market, okay. and we'll offer, also have orphan designation okay. for, for both compounds. So that adds to the expediency of the review process. Now, is this uh, oral medication, intravenous medication, both? And is there particular medications that it works better for mm -hmm. than others? So it works for poorly water-soluble drugs okay. and as well as protein peptides. So it seems to have applicability to a wide range of active ingredients. And uh, it's, we are studying it in our two lead products, TFF Pharmaceuticals, uh, as delivered by inhalation but it could also be used for injection okay. and oral. It and oral be. as well. Yes. And I was seeing on your website that there are some lung treatments that this is especially good for. Is that true? And explain that to me. How that yes. Works. Okay. And as Glenn uh, described a minute ago, uh, with uh, inhaled voriconazole, which is the lead product, um, that is uh, an antifungal agent. And so it treats aspergillosis in, in patients and in immune compromised patients where they have a very high mortality rate. Okay. So it gets drug exactly to the site of infection. Okay. So as Bill was saying, you know, and Bill's, Bill has a feasibility 
setup of the technology, and uh, we've worked on large molecules, small molecules, biologics, uh, regular solid bulk chemical, vaccines, uh, oils, botanicals. Um, how many different compounds have you put through? Uh, over 25. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. and uh, is this being used now or? So uh, the, the lead compounds are just now going into clinical. So okay. the first phase one trial is for dosing, mm -hmm. and we'll do um, you know phase two trials, and hopefully that will enable us to, to file for marketing. Uh, and then your customers would be pharmaceutical companies. Well, ultimately the customer is the patient, okay. but um, our our business plan more than likely will will seek partners to mm -hmm. to sell those products. And then even earlier on in terms of development, we hope to partner with pharmaceutical companies to apply the technology to their compounds or assets. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you for your thank time. You. And congratulations on the IPO and thank on you. the technology that's thank helping you people. So, thank you very much. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back. Okay.